Alrighty, it's new project time. Back, just picked up the new engine for this project. Predator 212cc, 6.5 horse. You're probably asking yourself, what's this going on? Well, that's a little bit of a surprise, but I'll go ahead and tell you all. Uh, 1949 Alice Chalmers WD. And before everyone starts getting all upset about uh, me repowering it with a Chinese motor, the original motor's trashed. There's nothing I can do about it. So, uh, pretty much we saved the thing from the scrapyard. If we didn't pick it up, it was going to the junkyard. So, just let that all run through y'all's mind. If we didn't take it, it was going to the junkyard. So, this here, a little six and a half horse. And I already have the two inch pulley on it. Because it's going to be running a two to eight pulley which will give me a uh, one to four or no it would be a four to one ratio every four turns of this is one turn on the transmission and uh, we'll go ahead and fire it up because why not I'm sure you all want to hear it run oh come on oh pray help but <laughs> Pretty much, that's it for that. Uh, I got a few other, I have a few parts of the WD here, so I'll go show you those. So right in here we have the fender off the WD, which I've been buffing and repainting. Because, well, as you can see, she's, she's still in her work clothes. And uh, I gotta get a new box, put on the fender, put all the crap in there. Gotta get reproduction lights I've got the reproduction lights for the front but I am going to put functioning field lights on this tractor and uh, I've got another piece in my garage that I will show you now here's this other piece this is the switch panel which I bought all new switches and I'm gonna get a new gauge for and uh, yes all of the things that will be on here it will have the ignition the switch to turn it on and the amp meter I am going to actually make the amp meter work because I have a charging coil to go in the 212. Now I know what you're probably asking yourself, why would I repower a 30, 40 horsepower tractor with a 212? Well, if you can get the gearing right, which I will put my ratios and all that down in the description, but the ratios I'm going to run, it will gear the engine to every four rotations of the engine will be one rotation on the transmission. Which, if my math is all correct, it will be able to move that tractor. And another reason why I'm doing it is it'll be cheap, it'll be efficient, and we'll be able to do some cool testing and stuff with it. So that'll be neat. And uh, once we do that, and uh, we get it all repowered, uh, we're going to try some testing with it. I've got a few attachments that I've made for the tractor and well we'll have to see how well she works and uh, that's pretty much it that's the only that's all I really got for right now until I actually get the tractor done which it should be done soon I still have to get rims and tires for it which is gonna be expensive but I wanted to go ahead and get the motor and stuff on so test the transmission all that because I bought the tractor entirely not running which usually isn't a very smart thing to do if you're not going to restore it. But, well, it'll get restored eventually. Uh, but in the meantime, we're going to stick a little 212 in there. And I know there's going to be a whole bunch of diehard restoration guys in the comments. Just, oh, it needs to go back original. Just because it is original doesn't mean it needs to go back original. Uh, now eventually I do have an electric start kit for the 212 and maybe that'll get put in there but I gotta wait my warranty out before I can do all that 
before I can start modifying it. So that's pretty much all I've got for today. Um, just kind of doing this project a little at a time until it's eventually finished. Uh, once it is finished, uh, we, like I said, we are going to do some testing with it. We're going to see how much it'll pull. Uh, it does have the snap coupler hitch on it, so if I can find a snap coupler plow or another snap coupler attachment, we're going to do that. And one of the first things I'm going to try to do with it is we're going to drive it about, I want to say, eight or nine miles from way out the road here. And once it gets here, we're going to take it on another road trip to my grandmother's house. And once we do that, uh, that's when the testing will really begin because we have a bush hog. Now, from stock, the tractor makes about 30, 40 horsepower given. Uh, but six and a half geared correctly the engine will spin about 2,000 RPMs and will, at the shaft on the transmission, will be giving about 700 RPM, if everything is correct. And, well, we're going to see if she'll be able to run a bush hog, because it does have full hydraulics and everything on it, so it'll lift and lower bush hog, has a PTO on it, so everything's pretty much good. But, since we have a bush hog, we're going to try it with the bush hog. If it can't, there's always room for improvement. And, uh, lost my train of thought, but anyway, uh, there's always room for improvement into the design. Uh, eventually, it will get a bigger motor, but for right now, fuel costs are, you know, way up. So, I'm going to put the six and a half horse in there since they're super fuel efficient. So once we do that, like I said, we'll go ahead and get everything pretty much ready to go, and then we'll, I'll make a video once it's entirely done, and I'll even have some videos in between of getting stuff done on it. Uh, I do have a few little mods I'm going to do to it to maybe get a little extra power out of it. And like I said, I've got the electric start and the charging coil, so we can actually run all the lights and even the electric start. So once we do that, we're pretty much in the clear. And like I said, still got to get all new tires for it. That's not going to be cheap. Uh, but once we do, uh, like I said, we're going to drive it a pretty decent chunk of way especially for not having a road gear. I think the thing tops does seven or 10 miles an hour. So that's pretty much it for today. And uh, we'll see y'all next video.